check it. So, let's see, he set me up again. The second day he set me up. Second day he set me up. Watch, I'm putting on my thing right here. His wife is showing up right now, too. There we go, there's his wife. You see that? His wife just blocked me. You see this shit? You see how their wife just blocked me? And that's the shit that goes on there. That's the shit that goes on. Let's look at let's look at this whole situation. Okay. I believe it's Wednesday. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Doing a drop off. So, let's see, he set me up again. The second day he set me up. Second day he set me up. Watch, I'm putting on my thing right here. His wife is showing up right now, too. There we go, there's his wife. You see that? His wife just blocked me. You see this shit? You see how their wife just blocked me? And that's the shit that goes on there. That's the shit that goes on. Let's look at let's look at this whole situation. Wife blocked me. The husband is like uh, following me now. You see? You see what they do there? You see the timing of this? And that's the stuff I'm talking about. You know, they they want to keep bothering you or something. 11, 17, 2016. Watch as my neighbor two doors up the street times her vehicles passing right when I'm about to put my child in my vehicle. She was actually going very fast as you can hear the sound of her car but slowed down when I pointed the camera at her. This was clearly done on purpose. I didn't pause in any way. This type of thing has been done many times before. Somebody must have communicated to her when I would be on the street side of my vehicle. Okay, so it's uh, Thursday. Doing a drop off. Something I want to tell you is that they've been pretty much wrecking my sleep tonight. I noticed that Wednesday night they wrecked my sleep. This indicates to me they're going to do something outside. Most likely, the neighbor two doors up parked his wrecked car, red SUV in front of mine. He's probably going to come at the same time or something like that. That's what they did last week. And that's probably the reason why they try to wreck my sleep on Wednesday night. So, that's what I'm expecting right now. I don't know who the hell's out there. It's because it's picture day or something? No, it's because he's, he's, he parked his car. 
that big. Now watch, here we go. So we're actually a little bit behind schedule, but that doesn't mean somebody should come at the same time we do. So here we go. Okay, notice the car is still there. Notice how you put park two cars right next to mine. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. So when we when we came, come on, Grant. So when we came to our uh, come on, come on. So when we came to our uh, the other opposite side. The neighbor, um, the neighbor two doors up, she came real fast. You saw how fast she came? That's the kind of stuff. I actually had to tell my child to go back. And that's the kind of stuff that goes on. So they tried a new strategy. They tried to like a run over. This is the run over strategy. You saw that? So now, they tried to literally run us over. Run me and my child over. Do you see how fast she came? That's how fast she came. And that's, the, that's what they do, they try to make you mad or something. There it is, right there. So that's what it was. You see how fast she showed up there? That was time. That was no accident. I mean, for me to get to, just to, you know, go to the opposite side of the street and put my daughter in the car, I mean, that would take like, what, 10 seconds, 15 seconds tops. So think of the timing of that. Now let's look at the rest of the street. It's completely empty. I'm also going to give you the time. Let's see if it showed the time there. Okay. So the rest of the street is completely empty, okay? So here's more evidence of it. You see what I mean? And and at nighttime they tore my sleep up. So what they what they try and do is trigger me, trying to make me go go off. And then of course there's a camera somewhere in somebody's house, always pointing to my house area. And that's the stuff that goes on. Now still street is empty, okay? Street is still empty. Did you see how fast she ran? You know what I mean? I don't know. So that was definitely timed. It looks like they couldn't have, they, they, they weren't able to get me, oh, because we're leaving a little bit late, so they tried to get me on the way back. You see how fast she rode? That was crazy. I mean, that was like, that was probably the fastest I saw somebody ever ride, and that was timed. It was timed like that. To sort of scare you, and this is not the first time this type of stuff's done. By the way, that lady, neighbor two doors up, I know, for most likely the lady, she's the one that drives fast. They've done a lot. They and their family, the husband's done a lot. They've dumped snow on our car on, on like a big snowstorm day at night with a snowblower. She drives fast a lot of times. She almost tries to hit my car. Uh, she tries to almost like run you over on the road, you know. It's not the, she, she went in the opposite direction because she got, you know, we both left at the same time. She got offended or something like that. She told the crossing guards about me or something I'm filming when I'm really just film, filming this harassment and then they come up you know and uh and like park in front of my house and i mean there's a lot of stuff that goes on when i work outside the neighbor two doors up the husband will come like uh close to me there's a lot of stuff that goes on okay oh. a lot of stuff okay so i'm gonna just yes uh, when when you were working on the door the kids they had to break the table. yeah but that's that's another neighbor to the side but you know what i mean so this is the stuff that goes on and you saw the timing and the one thing about this organized stalking is the timing. So those of you that are like crossing the street or going into the street, be very careful. They like to get you there.
okay, so what happened there was at the school, she parked right next to my car. Now remember, there's a million places you can park. You can park on the street, you can park any spot. So she found my car and was able to park right there. Okay, so this is my neighbor. Uh, she lives two doors up from me, okay? Two doors to the north on the same side of the street, okay? She and her husband and her family. So at the school, I dropped my child off in the, in the um, lot, in the schoolyard. And about the same time, you know, about five minutes before I come back, I had my car parked in the parking lot there. And she sees me coming back and she lets her children go at the same time. There's actually a little gate there. Everybody has to go through the gate. So I see that she's doing that. So what I decide to do is, okay, okay, she's trying to set me up with her kids through the gate. No problem. I mean, you know, why would you do that if you don't like somebody? But, okay, I see she's trying to set me up. So I went, there's another gate a little bit further out. So I just actually went all the way around. So what does she do? She literally waits there pretending like she's looking at her kids. Now she could have walked with her kids uh, into the yard like most parents do, right? Now if you wanted to just drop off your kids, you know, uh, you can just park there on the sidewalk and do that. But see, she, she purposely stood there. And she stood there where the driver's side of my car is. Look look at where she's standing too. Because she's not standing near the driver's side of her car. She's almost like near the passenger side. So that way, see, that way I would bump into her. Or maybe she has her little camera or audio on waiting for me to say something wrong. You see what I'm saying? So first of all, she found my car, okay, in the parking lot. She uh, parked near my car, made sure to park on the driver's side of my car. She stood there. She also timed her children to leave at approximately the same time I would get to the gate so there would be some bumpage. I went around to avoid her. She still stood there the whole time. Now, this is done on purpose. Now, why would she do this? Because she thinks I won't, I'm not going to record in the parking lot. You see? So, see, so when they think I'm not recording, the, the game start again. Like if I'm lifting stuff and I can't record with my phone, the game starter. If they think it's raining and not going to bring my phone out, they, they're going to do it. Or, or if it's snowing and I need to shovel and I can't use my phone, they're going to do it. Or somehow if some kind of clue. Uh, they used to go by the audio on my phone too. Uh, from the uh, connected name, they would hear my audio. So I shut off the audio. Basically, you know, whenever you turn on your video, it makes like a tink sound, like a ting. Yeah, so I, I put it on silent now. They were going by that because one time I actually forgot to do it. It didn't make a tink sound and then they tried to set me up again. This lady here, she's giving me the middle finger. She's gone uh, the opposite way on the wrong way because she, she thought I was going to crash into her. She tries to crash into me. She talks bad about me to the parents at school, to the principals, this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not just her, her husband. Her husband tries to come near me. They try to park near where I park, they try to block my driveways whenever it's like, you know, you got a snow day so they can have an excuse. I mean, the stuff that goes on, you know, luckily I caught this. I took a chance and decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to videotape this because this is worth uh, showing. So you saw there in the video, there she is just standing there right by the driver's side of my car. You see that? And she doesn't need to do that. You know, she could she could stand on the other side of the car. If if her kids are, are are further down, why would you just stand there? You could stand further down, right? I mean, you know, this is clearly done on purpose. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that goes on. And, and if you've seen my videos, this stuff has been going on for years. Years and years of it. You see, and like I said, they, they have changed a little bit now. The change is this. Is if they think I'm videotaping, they back off. But if they think I'm not... The game start again and this is an example of it see so so they're always ready if I'm not videotaping they're always ready to, ready to pounce so those of you who are going through this I highly suggest you videotape you have to keep videotaping till you get enough proof you, you get a substantial amount of proof and what happens is they're gonna back off a great deal but you have to keep it up and if they think you're not gonna videotape they're gonna come after you and you know this is the stuff that goes on in addition to the normal stuff it always goes on.